This is a video about the ten paradises of Aish, the Teclian and Tyrionic nations. Hello, this is 60 Goblins and One Brush with another Lumineth video, this time about Aish, the new information about the Teclian and Tyrionic nations, about the ten paradises of Aish. Aish is a perfect realm just next to the realm of Shadow, Ulgu, whose god Malarion is, about whom doubtlessly we will get to know more this year. In today's Lumineth reveal we have one picture of Aish and just next to it one picture of Ulgu, the twin realms and between them is the abyss of willful ignorance. Great name. I wonder if that is the place where they have trapped and imprisoned Slanesh or if that is somewhere else. While Aish is separated into ten paradises, ten islands so to say, a bit reminiscent of Ulthuan, or at least Ulthuan before the Sundering, Ulgu is divided into thirteen dominions. I really like that. Ulgu Malarian's realm is divided into dominions and Tyrion's and Teclis's into paradises. If Games Workshop will be putting half as much effort into the new Shadow Elves of Malarion as they have put into the Great Luminous so far, it will be a very very exciting this year. I'd, I don't know, maybe next year. Still planning a Malarion and Ulgu video, but um, all this news, I can't get to it. Then we have news about Selena, Teclis' Sphinx who by chance, or not by chance at all, has the same name as the moon of Aish. In the center of Aish we will find the island of Xintil. The more central, the more perfect. The more peripheral, the stranger, the weirder, the more imperfect. Or crazy. Xintil is the place where Teclis woke up from his slumber or death or whatever it was and awoke as a god. The four nations in the east, Siar, Iliatha, Imetrica and Sytrek, are the four nations of Teclis. They are focused on culture and magic, while the four nations in the west, Ultrai, Aurathrai, Helon and Alumnia, are the Tyrionic nations. They are focused of course on military. The primary quality of Aish seems to be beauty. And each of the different paradises embodies a different aspect of this beauty. The most populated seems to be Eliatha, due to their strange cloning practices, which reminds a little bit of the later Dune books. Read them if you don't know them. It is a matriarchal society. In the very south, there's one realm called Hysia, which is supposed to be very weird to the point where its fractal beauty can drive people mad. So it seems that there's a lot of love waiting for us and it also seems that Games Workshop is listening to all the fans who are asking for more content while we wait. That is certainly a new thing in Games Workshop since Age of Sigma that there really are, there's a team who listens to the fans. So that's it for today. The next big reveal is scheduled for the 18th of April, but it seems we will get all kinds of little interesting things dropped in now and then. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and see you very soon. And don't forget the giveaway.